What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here and I hope you're feeling amazing today. So for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, shares, donations. Your support really is just, just phenomenal, Cancer, and it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy Higher Self has brought you here. You are in for an amazing journey. Now, the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And I do tarot card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll discuss what phase she's in, what sign she's in, when she's going void, of course, just all those lunar shenanigans. And uh, just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me, never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, cancer. Now, let's jump into it. <laughs> Your space has been cleansed. Gems are just lovely. Good vibrations all around here, Cancer. Now, the moon has gone, she's, depending on when you're watching this, the moon is, um, she went void, of course, um, early this morning, well, not too early, about 6.35 this morning, that's going to be central time, and she moved from Scorpio into Sagittarius at about 11.32 in, um, <clears throat> in the morning so now that we're in this uh sagittarius energy here you know this is like a i like sagittarius energy you know it's just like a joyful and just like an exploratory nature kind of comes into play here and you know ideal idealism enthusiasm are just cranked to the max here so enjoy that energy cancer's very very jubilant energy here you know i i, I really do enjoy the sagittarian energy here and um she's also in a um a waning crescent here so you know we're still maybe meditating or it's a waning crescent or it can also be known as a balsamic moon as well and um you know we're, we're meditating and we're planning for that next lunar cycle here cancer you know we're thinking big and that's another thing too with sagittarian energy you know sagittarius is um their ruler is jupiter and jupiter is all about expansion is all about fortune you know we have the fortune in, the, in that judgment you know um <laughs> so work with this energy cancer this is a good time because you know sagittarius is not just fun energy they're very you know they're they're seeking for you know that bigger picture you know like that um you know that that bigger knowledge there so um just something to keep in mind cancer and then lastly if um in case y'all were curious i'm using the uh everyday witch tarot deck it's a chariot and friends exclusive and i uh, have a link for this deck and other decks that i like using in the description box below so definitely check that out if you're interested cancer but let's go ahead and get into your first card here which is going to represent the general energy so hi yourself What's the general energy looking like for cancer today? Let's see how we're feeling on this, uh, this wonderful uh, Sagittarius moon here. <laughs> I love it. Sagittarius energy right here. You got the Nine of Wands, Cancer. And so I feel like with this, you know, the Nine of Wands, I feel like this has popped up for us uh, once before. You know, the Nine of Wands is a card of like, you know, where... Well, we're kind of getting in, uh, wow, Cancer, you're really in tune with the moon here because, you know, this is about exactly what we're supposed to be doing, you know, getting in preparation for this next lunar cycle here, you know, kind of seeing trial and error, figuring out what works, what doesn't work, tweaking, adjusting, and then, you know, kind of really maybe following through here, you know, or, you know, really maybe if we're, um, if we don't have anything that we have in the works right now, you know, um, thinking about getting just like a game plan, you know, what, what it is that you want to tackle and, you know, how, how we're going to go about doing it. And, you know, with the Nine of Wands to Cancer, I feel like it's one of those things to, you know, be, you know, when we're trying to figure this stuff out here, don't force yourself. You know, this is Mercury and, and um, is it Nine of Wands? Yes. No, excuse me. This is the moon in Sagittarius here. So look at you. Um, <laughs> you see what I mean when I talk about how in tune you are, Cancer? I feel like this too, you know, but don't, um, or try not to, you know, overexert yourself. You know, this is energy that, you know, sometimes we can get a little, um, maybe a little overzealous or, you know, again, trying to force that thing. So when we're going about figuring out our game plan for whatever it is that we're doing, you know, let's just be mindful of our energy and, re and remember too, that it's, 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 it's going to come, you know, it's just about, you know, that, be being mindful with the energy here when when you're when you're when you're when your gut tells you to 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 um to to strike or you know to initiate do it because here's a good example uh cancer when i right before i was before I even started this channel, I was someone had brought up the idea for me and I was just kind of playing around with it. And when I kind of, um, I wasn't sure when I was going to start this channel. 
and I went to go do like some practice pulls with the first, you know, with the Dreamy Moons uh, tarot deck that I started with the last lunar cycle. And I was doing some cards, like just some practice pulls. And I'm not kidding you, it was like four practice pulls. It was like the chariot, the chariot, the chariot, the chariot. I'm not kidding you. And then it was like the magician on top of that. It was like manifest, go, go, go. And so I went, you know, I just, I started it and it's been, I've been enjoying it ever since. So cancer is going to be one of those things. It's like the signs are going to be out there for you and just, you pay attention to that thing. You know, um, when, when it's, when it speaks to you act, you know, and in the meantime, you know, just kind of keep your energy in reserves here, you know, maybe get some things kind of cooking here, but you'll know when to make that really big move there. So let's, um, let's, let's get on to some, uh, how we can work with this energy here, Cancer. And I hope that made sense. Um, but yeah, look, higher self, what are some ways that Cancer can work with this energy at this time? This, this moon and sad, Cancer, you, you don't even understand how cool that is. Cause this, this really is, it, this is, a, that's so, that's so dope. But how can, uh, other than how Cancer's obviously doing it, how else can Cancer work with the, with the energy at this time here, higher self? <laughs> There's that good old two of cups again. And I feel like with this cancer, again, you know, it's about finding that harmony. You see, it's, it's ha I, you know, it's one of those things. I'm wondering if, if I, I feel like for some of us cancer, um, I, I feel like maybe we're, 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 we're in this place of doubt right now. You know, I feel like there's like, or maybe we're trying to, we're, we're seeing where things are starting to manifest, but we're missing that consistency maybe, you know? I feel like maybe we're, I feel like maybe it's again, you know, where maybe we're trying to force this thing, or maybe we may, may not be, maybe we kind of might be checked out and maybe might be missing signs. But again, you know, when I was talking about this Two of Cups is, you know, it's about finding that harmony between you and like your higher self, you know, Buddha, God, Jesus, you know, however that looks like for you, Cancer. Um, Cause clearly, you know, it's it's one of those things. It's like I feel like you're you're getting it, you know, because like it's you're showing me this. You know, this isn't the first time that this has happened when you know things have kind of lined up with where the moon's at. So, um, you know, maybe maybe journal these things down, or you know. Um, maybe do like, a, I don't know, like some kind of, some way to maybe like take like a marker, you know, where it's like, okay, I hit that day, you know, like I really felt in tune that day. Um, just something to maybe where to see if we can notice some pat patterns so maybe we can start, you know, replicating this stuff. Que tap into that Queen of Cups energy here. That's what the Queen of Cups does. You know, we she learns from the lessons that she's good and bad cancer. And when she hits, betcha she's gonna like, okay, what did I do? Where was I at? You know, and then bam, hit it again. And you're gonna, and again, thank too. You got to adjust with this thing. You know, I was saying, you know, that you're going to know when that timing is to make that, make that move with this moon being in Sagittarius, you know, it's like lining up when the phase is, you know, cause it's, it's constantly changing when we need to act. You know, there's sometimes we need a rest and then there are other times we need to take initiative. So feeling that stuff out here, finding that harmony cancer, you know, getting really in tune with yourself. And that's where it starts cancer. You know, if we're wondering, you know, how, Maybe if we're wondering how to maybe get more um, consistency with this thing, I feel like a good place to start is really learning yourself and learning what tools you're working with here. And like I was saying, you know, um, I've been posting these things weekly, um, these little posts in like the community chats, where it's like I'll do an updated playlist for like the all signs on my other channel. And I have little tidbits of information for, you know, like what each sign means and all that stuff. You know, I really feel like cancer when you get a chance, find find a way to do like a deep dive for your um for you you know figure out how you operate um because i really do feel like it's going to come to your benefit if you understand the the both the strengths and the weaknesses and cancer too um when you're looking at your weaknesses because you know when i've talked about this with like other people like other friends and family and stuff you know and they'll look at their weaknesses and it's just like they're instantly like deflated like oh man i'd be like with like numerology you know there's like um this thing like karmic numbers and then you know i showed someone that and it's just like Oh man, I got all this karma to work with. It's like, don't let that, don't let that work. You, don't let that bring you down. If anything, you, if this good, because you know what to work on. It's right here. You have an instruction manual right there. This is where we need to improve at, and that's exciting. You know, it's another thing. You know, if you got, if you don't have any kind of karma, this is just an example. If you don't have any kind of karma, then it's just like, well, what do I do? Because clearly, you know, if you don't got any karma, you're here to do something big. You're here to help people with other people's, um, help kind of release other people's karma here. You know, it's a whole 
whole thing cancer but it all starts with journeying within and really finding out what makes you tick and um, what gifts and, 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 and weaknesses that are waiting to become gifts because it all I just shouldn't even put it like that they're all gifts it's just like how how can you make the most out of the energy that you've been um, been a gifted cancer so just something to think in mind you know you what better way to get in tune with the energy is to get in tune with yourself and understand your vibration and your resonance and how to how to how to really sync up with that so let's get let's get to um let's get to some other ways we can work with this energy here ah, higher self I know two two of cups is just a, all these cards. I tell you, it's been it's been a chatty chatty couple weeks here. <laughs> um, but hi yourself. What are some other ways that Cancer can tune in with this energy here? Let's see. Um, let's see what are some other ways. Cancer, I love it. Nine of cups, and look at this cup stuff. Feeling this energy out here, Cancer, and not even just that. Focusing, getting your tuning your resonance into happiness. You know, whatever makes you happy. You know, when I was. Um, because another thing, dude, too, that I include at the end of each of those little, little, I don't know what you would call those, a little information, I'm so, um, that little information thing is that at the end, you know, I have like a little positive affirmation at the end. So that's something, too, you know, if we find ourselves maybe if we're, you know, we're maybe not operating in the happiest space right now, you know, when you find yourself spiraling, you know, maybe getting one of those negative spirals, Catch, you know, pause for a second. I, the best way I can find when I recognize it is just like mantra. What's the, what's the positive affirmation? What's resonating with me today? How do I bring this up? And you know, a good one, cancer, easy one. I love myself. And that's that, that, and I, I tell you, just, just practice that. You know, whenever you find yourself, I, I love myself, <laughs> you know, oh my gosh, I can't, nope. I love myself. And also to cancer, another thing, don't focus on, because um, I find when we manifest, you know, sometimes we, we focus on what we don't want, you know, focus on what you do want, you know, that we're not worried about. The universe doesn't care what you don't want. The universe wants to know what you want, you know, and that's, you know, to, being mindful of how your um, your thoughts and how you're, how, what you're speaking out into the, to the ether here. So, but as I feel like as you know, if we're if we're focusing from a from a happiness, you know, a joyful, you know, fulfillment kind of place here, Cancer, it's gonna be it's gonna be smooth sailing here. Even when things get tough, you know, you're gonna be able to because that's not to say that again that the suck goes away because you can't without any darkness there wouldn't be any light. You know what I mean? Like you have to like it's a, it's it's a balance, and so. Um, just just something to keep in mind cancer and while we're talking about balance let's get to the challenges here because you know why oh that's why i was gonna get at because with even with like when we're focusing on our happiness there are going to be challenges here but when we're operating from a happier place we can deal with the stuff easier we work with it and and, and soften the impact here you know where we're, we're not caught off guard so let's get to some challenges here so higher self what are some challenges that cancer might be um, might face at with working with this energy here? Let's see. What are some um, what are some some ways that cancer may uh, some obstacles that cancer might come up against? Let's see here. Okay, you got the Knight of Wands here, Cancer, and I feel like with the Knight of Wands, you know, maybe maybe some a challenge is really just first taking action, you know, because that's what the Knight of Wands is about. And also, well, let me start with that because, you know, maybe sometimes when I feel like, you know, when we think about our dreams, you know, like and really like committing and going for that thing, you know, we, we can get into this place of, you know, once we're in it, you know, that, that once that initial maybe like, um, like enthusiasm kind of maybe wears off and, you know, we're kind of getting into the grind here, you know, trying to get a flow and, you know, make this, get a, get a routine with this thing, you know, sometimes if we hit roadblocks along the way like this, like this dragon on top of this, um, off top of this mountain here, we can get a little deterred. We kind of stall here and it's just like, uh, <laughs> and, and cancer, I get it, but it's going to be one of those things. If, 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 higher self wouldn't put you in this situation here if you weren't meant to grow here this is this this dragon here this is wisdom that's getting ready to come out of this situation this is how we get to that this is how we ascend here you know we got to face these challenges head on here and i will say too with this um with the knight of wands because uh um 
when I was talking about earlier with the nine of wands, how we can um, maybe be a little overzealous and maybe, you know, by possibly force this thing, you know, maybe burn ourselves out. That's another thing to kind of be mindful of. You know, again, you know, if, if it's, I know it's a delicate dance, Cancer, but it is finding that balance. You know, if it doesn't, if it doesn't feel right, pull back. And then when, it, when, that, when that time feels right, channel into that nine of wands energy. Go, go slay that dragon. Go, go, go get this thing, you know. Um, yeah, wisdom, wisdom, a wise, wisdom is waiting for you, Cancer. Um, let's get to, let's see what are some, ooh, hopefully not a stack. Let's see uh, what are some other challenges that you might be facing, Cancer. Let me get myself together. <laughs> Oi, all right. So, higher self. <laughs> what are some other challenges that Cancer might be facing uh, with this energy here? Let's see, what are some other things that might come up for you, Cancer? Ace of Wands. Whoo, Cancer. This is going to be... You got big energy here, Cancer. And I feel like it's going to... <laughs> It's it's pretty much what I had literally just said with the Knight of, uh, Knight of Wands. Feeling this thing out here and then taking action. And when it when it feels right, don't hesitate. Do this thing, you know. Because I was, um, the funny thing, I don't know if I had mentioned with that story about the, um, the Chariot and Friends. You know, it was like... <clears throat> I was, I had honestly, before I had started, before that, that new moon cycle, that first super moon cycle, I had planned on pushing it a week because I was feeling a little overwhelmed. You know, I'd like, I, I hadn't had the concept all put together yet. And it was a whole bunch, you know, that, that doubt started to settle in. But cancer, when I got those signs, you know, again, that, you know, that, um, that it was, it was, it was time to act, you know, it was, I, I, I went with it, you know, and it's, it's been, it's, it's been well worth it. I've been enjoying this thing so far. I hope you've been enjoying it so far, but it's going to be one of those things you, when you feel that urge act, because I'll tell you, I'll give you another story with the Ace of Wands and, um, and cancel, let me preface, this isn't me telling you to quit your job, but <clears throat> Before I um, started doing this thing more, kind of just like really kind of putting my all into here, you know, my last job where it was a good job, you know, I had nothing wrong. Coworkers were nice, everything, you know, just wasn't resonating with me. I wasn't in a good place. I wasn't doing my best work. And at some point I had to, I, I had a decision to make. I had a meeting with the boss and I was like, I could either, I was like, hire self. I was like, am I, I was like, I was like, I, I don't know what to do. It's like, should I, should I put in my two weeks or should I try to try to salvage this thing? You know, maybe really kind of crank in um, or, or no, I don't even think I did an option. I was like, should I put in my two weeks? And then the ace, uh, I got the ace of wands and it was just like, I took action. And have there been, have there been hiccups along the way, cancer? Of course, but overall, I'm in a happier place, you know, I'm res my vibration is resonating higher and that's what I want for you, Cancer, you know, it's going to be one of those things, really trust your gut, you know, you know, you know what you want to do at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's channeling that cups energy, feeling this stuff out and then channeling that wands energy because you got a lot of wands here at Cancer and I feel like it's getting, it's, it's to, it's to mindfully take action, you know, when you, when the strike, when the iron's hottest. You know, so um, let's get to your last card here, which is going to be um, some, maybe some advice. So hi yourself. What's some advice that we have for Cancer with working with this energy here? Let's see, um, let's see what encouragement we have for you, Cancer. Nice. You got the Six of Pentacles, Cancer. And I feel like with the Six of Pentacles popping up, you know this, because with, with her, you know, she's the type that, in, in, in other decks, you know, she usually has like four pentacles for her and then she's handing out two to like, um, just like some random people, you know, and it's, it's about, um, again, that being mindful of where we're channeling our energy here, you know, make sure that you have enough in your reserves for you. And again, when it's time to, um, you know, let's switch back over. And again, when it's time to, to take action, go get that action. And I feel like that's going to yield you the, the biggest, um, the the biggest results there you know once we really kind of really get in tune with ourselves cancer you know two of cups is starting to follow you a little bit here so i really feel like there's um you know maybe just like a small emphasis you know maybe i'm just like really trying to just understand yourself just a little bit more you know get that um get that harmony there you know this is this is this is the empress in cancer here the empress represents um uh venus but there's venus in cancer and um you know again you know nur nurture yourself you know you 
just like if you if you're like a video game person you know um just like you have to put in put in the time for your character you know develop their skills you know get their get their items all that stuff treat yourself with that same type of passion cancer you know this is this is your th this is you know this this is meant to do great things you know these this 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 journey we've been put on here cancer so it's just you know find out find out again you know what you're working with and you know make that make that magic happen so um you know start manifesting but i think i'll i think i'll leave that there cancer if you like that give it a thumbs up you know um uh, share this thing you know if um if you see someone, you know, maybe they're kind of been kind of like hesitating, you know, maybe not sure if they should, you know, how or how to maybe even act, share this stuff, you know, let's raise that vibration, Cancer, let's get, um, let's get Cancerians out there, you know, making, doing, doing the good work here. Um, subscribe, like, um, hit that bell button, you'll get um, notified when I upload videos each day. I'm getting all kinds of better about being on Facebook. And um, lastly, when I was talking about my other channel, um, Alchemist 8, check that out. Because um, I'm assuming you're here because you've checked your sun, but you know, check your sun, moon rising, and then whenever you can sit down, really check your chart. And then check out my other channel, The Chariot and Friends, you know. Um, and again, Cancer, when you go to check out those videos, if they don't resonate with you, don't force it. Keep it moving. It's just, and then, you know what, too? Something, when you when you think about the energies, if, um, like, for example, I have, a, I have a lot of Leo in my chart, um, and... Leos are, you know, kind of like natural born leaders and, you know, they can bring in that sunshine and just like, um, you know, maybe a little, maybe a little e egotistical, you know, very showy, you know, um, but it's, you know, there's when I was, you know, really, um, you know, kind of starting to understand that it's just like at first, you know, sometimes that stuff doesn't resonate with you. And it's just like, hmm, I wonder why it doesn't resonate with me. You know, qu question that too, Cancer, because there may be something where there's that may be the, the missing piece that you're missing. It's not like, oh, it doesn't resonate with me, whatever, you know, um, pay attention to that for a while. And it's just like, hmm, I wonder what that is. You know, maybe it's not, maybe it's just something you haven't tapped into yet, Cancer. So, um, yeah, that's all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise card here so I can get you out of here. I dig it, Cancer. You got the hanged man here. And so, Cancer, meditate on this. You know, the, the hanged man is about, um, one, about new perspectives. You know, um, it could be, it's also a card for me. It's just like a card of, um, like, enlightenment or just like that, just that, um, that epiphany. You know, this person here, oh, this person here. You know they're hanging from their broom they have the they have the locks there you know they have their hands and their feet locked but they also have the key in their hand you know i don't know if you can see that there but they have a key in their hand as well and it's like it's one of those things when meditate on this thing figure yourself out and when again when you're when when however you connect to the source tells you to um you know gives you that signal to act jump on that thing cancer and you know don't you know you try not to doubt it for a second and it's going to come with practice cancer once you figure out the signs it's all going to make sense in the end so um you know don't don't um don't let that deter you you know your 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 refinement and your understanding and all of that is coming here cancer so um i think i'll leave that there stay safe out there cancer you keep eyes on the moon and i will catch you on the next one tomorrow.